wanted to show you guys the books that I got. The Stand by Stephen King. I really want to finish it this week. It also seems like they have like different types of magic. Really up and down with my emotions. <laughs> Hello guys and welcome back to a new reading vlog. Today is Wednesday, actually January 12th and I am starting a reading vlog today because I just haven't been feeling like it the other two days. I've just been really up and down with my emotions. <laughs> but yeah, yesterday, Tuesday was my birthday actually and I had a really good day. I was off work and I spent the day with my mom and then later in the evening I got to my parents house and we had sushi for dinner and I got to meet my grandparents which was very nice because I haven't seen them in a while. We were supposed to see them on Christmas like we always do but we didn't end up doing that because of COVID. It was really crazy then and just we ended up skipping that. So it was really nice seeing them and seeing my parents and my brother and it was a really good day and night and I felt very very grateful when I got home after that and yeah today's wednesday it's a new day i slept in really nice and i've been feeling a little bit anxious today but i'm trying to like think happy thoughts um but i've been reading today i work tonight i start at two and it, i think it's around like 11 30 or something so i have a few hours before i need to head out and i plan on just kind of reading and relaxing honestly so and i thought it would be time to start a wing vlog because i'm feeling very excited about it right now and i should take advantage of that so first up i have a book that i'm gonna put down for now not dnf it but i am gonna put it down for now i think because i'm not feeling it and i do not want to force myself to read something i'm not feeling like i want to read something right now and feel a pinch of happiness i want to read something that makes me feel good <laughs> so i'm gonna put this down for now i think unfortunately and that is where dreams descend by janella angelis i only read like a few chapters but i think i'm gonna put it down for now definitely not a dnf because i am i'm not hating it i'm just not in the mood for something like this right now so i'm gonna put it down and focus on other books for now so we're putting this one down temporarily and then i am still of course reading under the dome been reading quite a bit today i've gotten up to page 704 so i'm getting there i think this book has around a thousand pages so i'm definitely getting there and i'm still really really enjoying it i'm getting all the good vibes from this which is exactly what i want right now so i will be probably reading this one somewhere before i need to head out to work and then yeah since i decided to put down where dreams descend i wanted to pick up another book to read on the side because Under the Dome is quite hefty and stuff. So I decided to pick up The Gracier by Kim Liggett, which I've been having for my shelf not for too long. It was also in a previous book haul, I believe, and it just sounded really interesting to me. So I decided to pick it up today and I have gotten up to page 62. And so far it's really, really good. We follow this girl, Tierney, I think her name is. I'm sorry, I'm so bad with names. And in this world where she lives in, at their every girl's 16th, 16th birthday, 
they are all going way for this like grace year thing because girls here in this world has magic and also you have when they are turning 16 they are kind of in this world you can get chosen by a man to like become your husband some girls get chosen some doesn't get chosen and this girl definitely thought she wouldn't get chosen because she wasn't which isn't really a popular girl she's never really wanted anyone to show, choose her she's just kind of wanting to live in peace and she wants to everything to be all right in the world and everything to be equal because in this world girls are very just not equal and it's just kind of a horrible world but before she can come back and be with this husband she has to go away for this grace year and some girls don't get back alive and she's obviously very scared of that and she is just about to like head out for that and that's where i'm at i don't really know what the grace year actually is i know they're just like away for a year i haven't really understood what's going on but i guess we'll find out along the way i'm only on page 62 so like not that far and I don't want to be too red on the world before I enter it, which is why I haven't like looked up reviews or looked up too much. I kind of just want to go in with it and kind of create my own stuff. And if it's something that I'm questioning or if there's something I don't understand, I will go and look it up. Like, yeah, but I'm enjoying it so far. Um, getting good feelings and good vibes from this one. So that's exactly what I want. And yeah, so this is going to be my current read from now on, just as the Under the Dome still is. So also, since it was my birthday yesterday, I wanted to show you guys three books that I got from my parents that I'm very thankful for. So, and I'm very excited about all of them. So the first book I got is Jurassic Park by Michael Christian. Christian, I'm not sure how to pronounce the name, I'm sorry. But if you know me and if you like, I literally have a poster of Jurassic Park in my wall, a really big one. Like I am a big movie fan and Jurassic Park is one of my favorite movies of all time, like the old ones. I do not like Jurassic World, I'm sorry. I know a lot of people do, but I can't stand them. I just think it's wrong. I love the original three ones though. They mean a lot to me, I think because I have such a fond memory of them. Like with me, everything is about nostalgia in my childhood, to be honest. And I have like certain fond memories of something. I will forever cherish that one. And I have that with the Jurassic Park movies, um, kind of like a childhood memory thing. And I think that's why I love them so much. And I will never stop watching them and never stop loving them. And then I saw this one on Amazon, I think, a while back. And I was like, is this a book? And I'm still not sure if, like, the book was before the movies. I haven't actually looked that up. I was just really intrigued and I added it on my wish list immediately. Because I was like, okay, if I can be able to like read this amazing story and and have that experience that would be really cool <laughs> so i'm really excited about this one um i think like i don't know if it's gonna be discover how it all began before you see the movie okay so maybe this is like the actual original thing which is so exciting i'm just really really excited to dive into this world and to just really be amazed because i love it um super excited about this one the next book i got was the stand by Stephen king which has also been on my wish list for ages as you know i'm having this goal of reading every Stephen king book and this is obviously a very popular one in comparison to a few of them that aren't popular this is like one of the most popular ones that everyone has like heard of but i've never read it so i wanted to get my hands on it and this is also like a massive book when i it was actually more like bigger than i thought it's kind of reminded me of it like it has to have the same amount of pages as it if not more oh like 1300 ish which is just like it but i did manage to read that one so i should be able to read this one don't know a whole lot about what this is about which i'm not gonna look it up i'm not gonna be too uh informed before i read this because that's how i want it but i'm really excited about it i love this cover i'm just really excited to explore more of his works and the last book that i got was the lost symbol by dan brown as you know i'm also collecting all of the robert langdon series books and this is the second one i believe i think the da vinci code is the first one and then the lost symbol is the second one and then i don't know the order but um i'm planning on buying all of them and reading them in order i've already read the da vinci code but that's it i haven't read the other ones and i'm very excited about it this is also like a gorgeous cover i just oh, love it a lot and i'm very very excited to delve into this world again and continue 
to follow Robert Landon as he does all the things that he does. So yeah, <laughs> but um, I'm gonna include all of these books in like a future book haul that I'm gonna be talking about them more in depth. So just know I won't be talking about them so much here. Just you have to look out for a book haul for that, but that's not gonna be up until a while because I wanna like collect more books before I film another book haul. But yeah, so excited for all of these three books and I'm very thankful and I'm just really happy to have more books in my collection. <laughs> So now I have a little bit of time before I need to head to work, so I will probably just chill on the couch and read a little bit in these two books and maybe I will update you guys before I head off if I've read anything. If not, I will probably update you guys tonight, so yeah. Okay, so I read a little bit more and I understand better now. Um, which I didn't do before, but okay, so basically when they're 16, the girls get banished because of their magic and on this Gracier that they were going on for a year is to purify them and like to get rid of their magic so they can come back and be pure for marriage and for her husband that awaits her if that makes any sense it literally said here but i didn't really read that so <laughs> so it says like um that's why they're banished for their 16th year, to release their magic into the wild so they can return purified and ready for marriage. But not all of them will make it home alive. Yeah, okay, so the magic that these girls possess is not liked. People don't like it and they go away to get rinsed of that magic and to come back pure. So I hope you understand now that I also understand. <laughs> It also seems like they have like different types of magic, which I didn't know because I'm on page 77 and they, they were having a conversation and it, it's like, I can't wait to find out what my magic will be. I heard speaking to animals runs in our family. Maybe I'll be able to command the wind or be impervious to fire. So it feels like that they have magic, but they don't know what the magic is going to be until they go on to this grace here. I don't really know, but there's different kinds of magic, which is pretty cool. Hello guys, it is later in the evening. I am home from work, I've showered, I've eaten, and I've been waiting a little bit, but I'm actually heading to bed. It's 10.30, I'm getting tired, uh, and it was, I don't know, just been really tired the entire shift as well. So I think we're gonna head to bed actually but i wanted to update you guys i've been reading in this book tonight and i've gotten up to page 117 so not too much of progress but a little bit and i'm still really really enjoying it we have gotten to where a point where we follow these girls when they are entering their grace year and all the things that they are experiencing there so that's really interesting and i'm really really enjoying it but yeah I'm gonna go to bed because I'm tired and I can just really feel my bed calling me and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Hello guys, it is Thursday. I think it's around like two o'clock um, and I'm off today before I work this weekend. So that's nice. And I haven't done a whole lot today. Went to the gym this morning to train some back and shoulders. That was really nice. And then I've just been like sitting and reading, honestly. I'm trying to get some progress in the books. And I think I'm gonna do some laundry also after this clip and then just read some more. Um, just a reading day. I'm very excited about it. It's really needed. And yeah, so updates on the book. So Under the Dome, um, I really want to finish it this week. I don't know if I will be able to since I do work the entire weekend, but like that would be a goal because I feel like I've been at it for so long. But I have gotten up to page... 745 so if i read quite a bit more tonight and then the weekend like maybe i should be able to finish it at least this week because i'm getting there and that's very exciting so that's like the goal for the week to finish this one that would be really good and in the grace year i've also been reading a bit today it's going pretty fast i've gone up to page 171 and this is kind of reminding me of nevermore which is a really popular middle grade book which i actually didn't enjoy I am enjoying this though, <laughs> but it is slightly reminding me of Nevermore, but I think this is better because I actually put down Nevermore. I couldn't finish it because I didn't like it and I've actually unhauled it, so I don't even own the book anymore, but maybe I would like it if I read it now. I don't know, but it's kind of reminding me of it, but a better version since I am actually enjoying this one 
and it's getting really good and exciting and I'm excited to follow her in this journey and how everything turns out. So enjoying this one as well. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go and make some lunch because I'm getting hungry and do some laundry and then I will get back to reading and hopefully I will have an update before the day ends. <laughs> gosh the wind can you guys hear that it's, the wind has been crazy today it's like storm outside but it is quite late in the evening or like it depends but like it's I'm, i have to be in bed early because i need to be up early tomorrow for work so uh i'm gonna go to bed after this clip just to like watch some netflix in bed but like at least be in bed and be ready to sleep because then i have an early morning tomorrow so but I wanted to do a final update for the day. I've been mostly focusing on um, Under the Dome since I, as I've said, I do want to finish it this week. So I've been mostly focusing on this one. So I've been mostly focusing on Under the Dome since I do want to finish it this week, as I've mentioned. So I have gotten up to page 878, which is really good. My goal for the day was to get to page 800, which I did. So I'm really proud of that. Great progress. I don't have, I don't have a lot left at all. I think it's around like a thousand pages and I'm soon on page 900. So I will probably most definitely finish it this week, which would be amazing. And oh my gosh, like I'm so intrigued to see the TV show again after this because it's been a while, obviously, and I can't remember it being this messed up. I just need to figure out where to watch it because none of the streaming sites that I have has Under the Dome, which sucks, but maybe I can find it on like YouTube or something like really low quality. I just really want to see it because. Like, Big Jim and Junior's relationship is so messed up. I don't remember it being so fucked up and dysfunctional. But okay. <laughs> and I have been reading a little bit in the grace here, but I haven't been focusing on it. But I've gotten up to page 193. So this is also, like, so freaking quick and easy. But yeah, I'm gonna head to bed and I will probably see you guys tomorrow. Or we'll see. <laughs> Hello guys, it is Saturday. Um, I didn't vlog anything yesterday because I just worked all day and then I went home, took a nap, read some, and then slept. I was just really tired. It was kind of an exhausting day. And today is Saturday and I have soon have to head to work. It's around 1 o'clock and I start work at 2, so I work the evening today. And I've just been having a really chill day. I slept in, I've been reading, I've been filming, and yeah, it's a sunny day, so I've just been really feeling good and i wanted to update you guys on on the dome which is what i've been focusing on since i did mention that i want to finish it this week which i should be able to do because i have gotten up to page 1047 so 
I'm almost done with it. I would have finished it now, but I really need to head to work soon and get ready and stuff. So I will either finish it tonight when I get home from work or tomorrow after work. We'll see. But yeah, I'm getting close to finishing it and very excited about it. But yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys that before I head to work that I'm soon done with it. Page 1047. So yeah, hoping to finish it tonight or tomorrow. Hello guys, it is Sunday and it's time to end yet another reading vlog because it's the end of the week yet again but yeah i've just been working all day i got home around four and then i've just been relaxing and reading and i did accomplish my goal for the week which i'm very excited about i just sat down and finished under the dome by stephen king so all the 1072 pages i think it was and i'm so glad i did i must say i was a little bit confused towards the ending i don't know how to like interpret the ending i might like look up some stuff to see what people have said about this what people thought about it because i might not really understand it i mean stephen king is obviously really big with words and i feel like i might have missed something i don't really know but i'm definitely gonna look it up to see how people liked it how what people thought but i'm really glad i did finish it that was my goal for the week and i'm really glad i picked this one up i did love the TV show. I did really enjoy the book. It was hefty with a lot. You get to follow a lot of different characters. You really get to know them and it's really atmospheric in my opinion. This town just really a good book in my opinion and I'm really glad that I read it. And then I have been reading a little bit in the Grace year and I've gotten up to page 247. So this is also going by really, really fast and I am still really enjoying it. But yeah, that was it for this reading vlog. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in one of my next videos. Bye!